in this video we will discuss about oral circuit so in the previous video we saw that um, source free rc circuit where we saw the time constant tau is equal to r into c the only difference between that rl and rc circuit is here the time constant value is l by r where in rc circuit we saw it is r into c the remaining concepts and analysis are similar to source free rc circuit okay so with the help of this information how to solve a circuit when we have resistor and inductor combination where in the previous videos we saw rc combination here we have a rl combination and this is one of the william white practice problem where there is no solution in the book and the problem number is 8.21 and this is how the solution will look like okay so this is the problem <coughs> the circuit and what we are going to find out is we are going to find out il i1 i2 il this is il i1 i2 at t equal to 0.15 second okay so as usual what we did in rc circuit the same procedure to be followed here first of all we need to look at whether the switch is closed or open or at what time the switch is closes you see here the switch at t equal to 0 that goes from this side to this side which means the switch is closing at t equal to 0 so t less than 0 the switch is open it shows at t equal to 0 the switch moves to this way which means uh, after t equal to which means after t equal to 0 or t greater than or equal to 0 the switch closes but before that before t equal to 0 which means t less than 0 the switch was open if the switch was open then how the circuit will look like so this branch will not be there except this line all the other branches will appear here now you see here and for rc circuit we actually um, removed the capacitor because it was a voltage source means we removed the capacitor here if it is a current source we need to short circuit this particular inductor okay and this is what we have done here and now we are going to do analysis to find out what is il value at first to get il value we can apply current division rule because the branches are less here so as per our current division rule we want to find out il this is a same branch from this point to till this point this is the same branch so il is same here il is same here if you want more information about why current is same in the series circuit you can see my previous videos so according to this we are going to find out il and according to current division rule opposite resistance is 8 divided by total resistance 8 plus 2 which is 10 into the current value current is 2 ampere and if you calculate we will get 1.6 ampere as a il current it is less than 0 which means before the switch is closes the value at this location il value is 1.6 and that is nothing but your initial current now present in inductor okay and once we remove the switch or closes the switch how this discharge happens that is what we saw in the rc circuit the same now the il value is 1.6 ampere present here now after t equal to 0 which means switch closes how it will happen so now we'll assume the second case t greater than or equal to 0 so to calculate time constant we want to uh, find out what is the equivalent resistance at this location okay for that we are not going to uh, keep this inductor here and now we have removed the source so we have closed the switch here because at t equal to 0 switch is closed and current source is open circuited and this is 8 ohm and this is 2 now this is the circuit over here this is short circuited and we have removed the current source and two resistance combination here and we are going to find out r equivalent at this location where the inductor was connected and the notable point is whenever the resistor and a short circuit are in parallel the corresponding value is invalid which means the resistor value at this location is invalid it is not a valid one how in the sense for uh, simplicity sake 8 is this branch and for short circuit there is no resistance which means assumed as a 0 and when you multiply 8 into 0 you will get 0 here so whenever a resistor and short circuit are in parallel corresponding value is 0 or we can consider this resistor is invalid resistor over here got it now what is the total resistance now 
this 8 will is a invalid one so we have only one resistor which is 2 so equivalent resistance at this location is only this value which is 2 so r equivalent is 2 and as per RL uh, circuit derivation the time constant is L by R so L value is 0.4 Henry so L value 0.4 Henry and R equivalent is 2 ohm which is here and the total value of tau time constant is 0.2 second now we are going to find out what is IL I1 and I2 so what is IL of T which is initial voltage into E power minus T by tau so initial voltage is 1.6 T value as it is and tau is 0.2 <coughs> and if you do calculation by applying T value is 0.15 second that is given in the problem yeah at T equal to 1.15 second what would be the IL I1 and I2 that is what we are going to find out so we have applied T value is 0 0.05 divided by tau value and by doing the calculation you will get IL of T is equal to 0.756 ampere which is at 0.15 second okay so from 1.6 ampere to at 0.15 second the value is reduced to 0.756 that is exponentially decaying that is what we discussed in RC circuit and now we will find out I1 and I2 so I1 current is over here and I2 current is over here and as you know that uh, this 8 ohm resistance is invalid when we have a short circuit here so current flowing through that resistance is nothing which is zero okay so with the current source with the switch closed short circuit and 8 ohm they are in parallel so this will not a valid one so i1 flowing through this 8 ohm which is ultimately invalid which means zero nothing flowing here okay and what is i2 over here in the short circuit I have removed this because this is invalid one right so for uh, current at this location I2 we need to consider 2 ampere which is already there in the actual circuit and here 0 0.756 756 is the value at 0 0.15 second okay if it is 0 second we need to keep 1.6 here but we are finding what is the I2 value I1 value at 0 0.15 second so we need to consider what is the current value at that particular time in inductor that is 0 0.756 so in that case we have two current sources one is the current is from the inductor discharging current the other one is the source current after the switch is closed as a short circuit so 2 ampere coming this way and this branch current this entire branch current is 0 0.756 this is same over here over here over here okay so 0 0.756 is coming this way is coming this way both are opposite direction so we need to subtract 2 minus 0 0.756 2 minus 0 0.576 because the current direction i2 is assumed in this way so this is assumed as plus this is assumed as minus if you want to calculate i2 in this direction then this will be 0 0.756 minus 2 your answer will be minus 1.244 okay so for this case we assume the i2 current direction is this way so 2 minus opposite current is 0 0.756 and the corresponding value is I2 is equal to 1.244 so this is the final answer I2 so this is the result of your final output that is IL equal to 0 0.756 I1 0 I2 is 1.244 this is a William Height practice problem and this is the solution 